Welcome to the Age of Asparagus. Here to show you how to set your Wacom Tablets Express Keys and Touch Ring, if you have one, using the Graphics Tablet settings in Linux Mint. Express Keys are additional buttons at the edge of your tablet that you can set to do whatever you want. I'm using an Intuos 5 which has eight Express Keys and a Touch Ring in the middle. Using the Graphics Tablet interface we can do most of what we want. Once you have your graphic tablet settings open, hit the Map Buttons button. You should see a list of buttons corresponding to your tablet. My Intuos 5 is showing 8 buttons, as well as a bunch of options for the touch ring. You can see here how the 8 buttons are labeled from top to bottom. The button inside the touch ring is called the Mode Switch. I'm showing this in right-handed mode, but if you're left-handed like I am and prefer to have your tablet rotated, then your buttons will be labeled from the bottom to the top on the right like this. So keep that in mind when you choose what your buttons do. For this video, these are the settings I'm going to establish. To set a button, you just need to click this option over here that should say none at first and choose send keystroke switch monitor or show on screen help so for the top button button number one I'm gonna choose the show on screen help option now if I hit the top button button one on my tablet I get this handy on screen help which will show us which buttons we have set up in case you forgot. Hit the button again to dismiss. Okay, let's change button 4 so that it will toggle between the two monitors for us so we can access both monitors with the pen without having to use the mouse. If I choose the switch monitor option, now when I hit that button number 4, my pen will jump over to the other screen, which you obviously can't see. Now if I hit it another time, I actually have access to both monitors and I can move, my pen will have uh, full range of movement. And if I hit it a third time, I'll toggle back to only having access to my main monitor. Button 7 I want to use to toggle my pen tip as an eraser, which is the E key in Krita. So I'm going to choose send keystroke under button 7. When I use send keystroke I'll get another option to the right which right now says none. If I click none I get what says new accelerator but you can't see it, it doesn't all fit. And all I have to do is hit E on the keyboard and you'll see it appears there. I want my bottom button to be my undo button which is control Z. So choose send keystroke, hit click none, or tap none on, with your pen and then hit control Z on the keyboard and you should see that appear. Buttons 5 and 6 I want to set to shift and control but as of this tutorial these modifier keys aren't supported on their own yet by this nice graphical tablet settings interface. In the next video I'll show you how to set these buttons using the X set Wacom tool we used before. Finally I want to set my touch ring. My touch ring shows four different modes. Each mode I can use either counterclockwise or clockwise. I can cycle through these modes by hitting the mode switch in the center of the dial. And on my Intuos 5 tablet, there is a white LED which rotates around so I know which settings I'm on. The touch ring works by rotating your finger around the circle either clockwise or counterclockwise. For example, let's set mode 1 to increase and decrease our brush size depending on the direction we rotate. I'm going to set counterclockwise to the left square bracket which decreases our brush size. I click here to the right for a new accelerator key and I hit the left square bracket and for clockwise I want to increase my brush size. I will click to set a new accelerator key and the right square bracket. Now we should be able to see my brush size get larger as I rotate 
clockwise and smaller as I rotate counterclockwise. That's pretty handy. You can even see by the screencast keys down here that it is registering a right square bracket when I go clockwise and a left square bracket counterclockwise. For another of the touch rings modes, you could consider zooming in and zooming out, which are the plus and minus keys. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.